Okay, we slosh this around. Our magnet is right here. It's the same as this magnet. We see this green. Here's the green side of this magnet. And you see this enormous amount of metallic filings here. After this, I'm going to cut this out of the bag and you'll be able to see these filings in even greater detail after I dry them. All right, now we're going to take an empty bowl and put this in here so that we don't make an enormous mess. When I just take my scissors and cut this area out so we can look at these iron filings in a little greater detail. Okay, now I'm going to put a little water on this. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a hair dryer and dry these out completely and then pull the magnet off and drop them on a sheet of paper so we can see them in the final detail. Okay. Take the magnet away. Okay, now we, have, now we have the filings on the paper. I'm going to take a magnet underneath the table and see how the filings stand up. We push them over from one side to the other. These are clearly metallic filings attracted by magnetism. By deduction, they're iron. So that concludes our demonstration. I think you'll agree this is a pretty dramatic demonstration that you can pull with magnetism metallic iron filings out of supposedly enriched cereal. Are metallic iron filings something you want to eat either in cereal or in pastas or in other flours or other enriched foods? I don't think so. So buyer beware or maybe buyer be aware. <laughs>